The Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences was born in 2012 at the University of Milano Bicocca. The strategy of our department is to develop and improve researches, maximizing synergies between the two areas of Earth and Environmental Sciences. Our inter- and multidisciplinary approach is based on a threefold concept, understanding the mechanism influencing climate changes in the past, monitoring the present assets, forecasting future scenarios to evaluate the impacts of climate changes on the environment and suggest effective mitigation actions. We aim at generating scientific knowledge technological infrastructures and advanced initiatives in education with positive impact on local, regional, national and international socioeconomic realities. Our department includes 40 geologists, 20 biologists, 15 chemists, five physicists and three engineers working together from glaciology to geodynamics through atmosphere chemistry and ecology. The Geodynamics Group at the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences investigates the long-term evolution of climate through a focus on plate tectonics. Sedimentary basin, mountain belts, volcanic arcs, oceanic ridges, they are all expressions of plate tectonics and they all have a huge impact on the geological carbon and water cycles which control climate on our planet. We study rocks from within these environments through a range of disciplines and techniques because they are the fundamental archives of information and we investigate these rocks through field observations, numerical modeling, physical and chemical laboratory analysis. This is also what we teach our students in the Geological Sciences Bachelor, Master and Doctoral degrees. They learn how to read the rocks just like a book and obtain their information regarding the functioning of the Earth system and the evolution of the Earth. A deeper understanding of past climate changes is essential to assess the impact of human activities on climate and anticipate future climate changes. Ice cores have become one of the golden standards in paleoclimate research, thanks to their ability to archive climate information, such as greenhouse gases, temperature and atmospheric impurities. And they allow us to study glacial and interglacial cycles. The focus of the glaciology and paleoclimate group of DSAT is the study of aeolian mineral dust deflated from the continents and transported to the polar regions. By looking at the geochemistry, mineralogy and microphysics of dust, we can get a lot of information about uh, atmospheric circulation changes, dust sources and environmental conditions at the sources. All this information is then put into global climate models, which include also the dust cycle. The concentration of mineral dust in polar ice is extremely low and particles are very, very small. For this reason, at the Eurocold lab of DSAT, we have dedicated environments and clean rooms where the risk of sample contamination is reduced at minimum. In our department, we study the sedimentary record from marine cores, looking at assemblage variations of microfossils like coccolites, silicoflagellates, diatoms and forams, and we analyze geochemical proxies in benthic archives like mollusks, corals and calcareous algae to reconstruct paleoceanographic and paleoclimatic changes at high resolution. An important expertise in our team is also related to seafloor imaging and mapping using geophysical data like bathymetry, backscattering and seismic data coupled with underwater videos and bottom sampling to investigate geomorphic processes in the submarine environment and their interaction with benthic organisms. We study the impacts of climate change on freshwater and terrestrial ecosystem and on biota. Lakes are extremely sensitive to pressures that operate at the global, regional and local scale, making them good sentinels of environmental change. We are studying the different pathways that cascading effects of changes in air temperature and precipitation have on water temperature and vertical mixing regimes. This trigger the redistribution of nutrients, dissolved oxygen and other compounds in surface and deep waters that in turn control pelagic food webs. 
We are analyzing the responses of aquatic communities to anthropogenic impacts to develop tools for the management and conservation of freshwater ecosystems. We are investigating the effects of climate and habitat changes and the introduction of exotic species on the ecology of population in order to propose effective measures for long-term conservation of wildlife biodiversity. We are studying how, in mountain areas, ice melting during war period can increase habitat availability and high elevation and across the tree line for alpine plants. In our department, the atmospheric research passes through different disciplines. The main target of our research concerning the aerosol direct effect is related to the black and brown carbon aerosols. We developed an experimental method able to quantify in any sky condition the heating rate induced by light absorbing aerosol. Our campus is the first site in the world where the heating rate of black and brown carbon is experimentally determined in continuously in time. The experimental uh, heating rate was measured from Europe across the Baltic Sea, the Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean, showing that the heat trapped in mid-latitudes can be transported till the North Pole, amplifying again the Arctic amplification and warming. Global warming and other effects related to climate change, such as uh, the increase of frequency and intensity of rainfall events, are expected to boost geohazards and uh, have a large impact on uh, water and energy resources. For monitoring, we are developing a new lab called GEMMA with uh, advanced monitoring tools, such as drones equipped with thermo cameras, hyperspectral cameras, ground penetrating radar, and a laser scanner. With this tool, we can monitor and survey the effect of climate changes in alpine areas, the evolution of landslides and rock glaciers, and uh, the degradation of permafrost, which are very important for uh, geohazards. We have developed uh, numerical tools and strategies uh, that we can use uh, for the modeling of these effects uh, and that we can uh, test against uh, laboratory physical models uh, or real world case studies. A good example is offered by the Galivaggio landslides that occurred in 2008. We can use numerical models in order to replicate and understand the dynamics of this phenomena. This allows us to improve our forecasting of potential future landslides and geohazards in light of risk assessment and risk management. We offer six courses, a bachelor and a master in environmental sciences, in geological sciences, an international course in marine sciences, entirely in English, and a master course in chemistry. And finally, a very interesting PhD program. Here students are an active part of the team and learn how to study the earth system processes relevant to and responsible for the evolution of our planet and ongoing climate changes through fieldwork, laboratory activities and modeling. We are confident that our multi- and interdisciplinary approach will develop cutting-edge research in science, providing a 360 degrees understanding of environmental and climatic change.